Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain causality and stability using Laplace transform. So, how to identify causality and stability using Laplace transform? So, for that, these two points are very important. First point is the system with transfer function is said to be both stable and causal when all poles lies in left half of S plane. So, you'll have to observe first of all if all poles are there in left half of S, S plane, then system can be stable. And second point is if ROC contains G omega axis, then system is stable. So, this two point that we need to uh, confirm before we identify causality and stability. So, causality that one can directly say based on number of poles and position of poles, but when it comes to ROC, it will be defining stability. So, I will explain that by some examples, so it will be more clear to all. Like see, in first case, if I consider we have transfer function H of S and that transfer function is 1 divided by S plus 1, S plus 2. So, here we can say position of poles that is happening at minus 1 and minus 2. So, based on that, we can directly say this system is stable and causal. So, here system is stable, system is stable and causal. Why? The reason is position of pole is at minus 1 and minus 2. If you plot that, if you plot that in S plane, if you plot this in S plane, then you will be finding it is happening in left half of S plane. So, this is what real axis sigma and this is imaginary axis j omega. And if I say over here there is minus 1 on real and over here there is minus 2 on real. So, that is happening on left half of S plane. So, as it is there on left half of S plane, we can say this system is stable. But there are few more things that we need to focus. Like see here if it is been given, if here cases are given. So, I will be considering first case. See in first case if it is given ROC for this question that is real part of S of minus 1 that is greater than minus 1 and real part of S greater than minus 2. If it is this case, in that case, let us see whether this system is stable or not. Like see, transfer function is given as well as ROC is given. So, if I consider this case, then now I will be checking whether this given system is stable or not. So, as ROC is given, first we need to draw vertical line as I have earlier explained for ROC. So, from both of the plane parallel to the imaginary line, we need to draw vertical line. Now, real part of S should be greater than minus 1 for this first pole, means this is what ROC for this and real part of S is greater than minus 2. So, for this second pole, ROC is this. So, if you observe, we have combined ROC that is happening in this region. This is what my combined ROC. So, combine ROC that one can say it is real part of S should be greater than minus 1. Now, in this combined ROC, J omega is happening. In this combined ROC, J, this combined ROC includes J omega axis. So, as combined ROC, as combined ROC, includes j omega axis for this case for above case system is stable so sometimes transfer function is been given to you as well as roc is been given to you then from 
transfer function we can have pole position and pole position can directly define causality but stability that not only depend on pole position it also depends on roc which is given to us so we need to see whether j omega axis is happening for combined roc is not or not if it is having combined roc is including j omega axis in that case one can say system is stable now here i will be considering second case so it will give you little more idea now see in same question in same question if we have roc for real part of s minus 1 if it is happening for greater than minus 1 and real part of s is less than minus 2 if it is having this case then let us plot roc first so see roc will be plotted on s plane so here we have s plane this is sigma this is j omega now see pole is happening at s is equals to minus 1 and pole is happening at s is equals to minus 2 so first i need to draw vertical line i'm drawing it now you see s is equals to minus 1 is having roc less than minus 1 so roc is greater than minus 1 so that will be this region for this pole s is equals to minus 1 and for pole s is equals to minus 2 it is less than that so ultimately this is what the region which is there with s is equals to minus 2 now here there is no combined roc that one can see for this case there is no combined roc no combined roc for poles so we can say no combined roc for poles is there so it does not includes it does not includes j omega axis so system is unstable but here one can see position of pole that is happening on left half plane so system is causal but position of pole in left half plane so system is causal that is what we can say based on this i hope that you have understood this so every time whenever you have any transfer function position of pole will directly justify whether system is causal or not and if roc is not given then based on position of pole we can say stability of system but if roc is given to us then we need to see whether that combined roc includes imaginary axis or not if it includes imaginary axis then we can say system is stable and for that again i'll take one more case